Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my fall flip through. Um, I like to call them my peek inside my planner uh, videos because you just get to see all of it at once and that's kind of fun. So um, yeah, let's do this. So I'm going to start with September and then we're going to go all the way through November. So this is going to be fun. I have some definite favorite spreads in here. So let's go through this. All right, here is my September monthly spread, and I really like this. This kit is from Avalon and Ninth. I will let you know where all of the kits are from. And if you need to know where a specific sticker is from, just describe it down below and like what spread it was on, and I'll let you know. Anyway, so this one is like my first fall kind of spread. This one was super fun in August, and I wanted to like throw myself into fall. So I used a lot of leftovers with this, and I really like how it turned out. I love the touches of gold. Kind of wish I had done a little bit more, but, you know, hindsight. But yeah, this was a good month. Um, I love that expo. That's super fun. Um, I remember I was supposed to go to this, but it got rained out. I presented at the school board meeting. Had a couple blue aprons. That's always fun. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I met... A, I didn't meet, I just like briefly spoke to a, another My Favorite Murder fan in a parking lot. Uh, this was the happy hour where we came up with our monthly game night idea, which is going to, it's so fun. We've had two so far, so we're on a roll. Well, let's, oh, and I am going on my South by Southwest EDU trip again. This will be my third year. It's either third or fourth, and I love that conference. It's really good. Right. So this was the first week back to school, and I love this spread it's so much. It's from, or the kit is from Honeydew Paper Shop, and it is gold foil. This is not my favorite kind of foiling, the little speckle, but, you know, it kind of works with this. It's kind of like cool girl kind of kit, and I really like this a lot. There is a lot of foil happening here, but I like it. It's very, very pretty. Um, I think that this shop is, like, on vacation or um, something's going on with it. So maybe hold off ordering just right now, but she does have really, really beautiful kits. I've used several of them, but um, so let's see what else happened this week. Was this my first? I think this was, yeah, first week back to school also for um, grad school and there were two classes at once. I'm doing this again in January, so it was a little bit stressful at first, but I kind of like fell into a groove with it. It ended up being okay, but yeah, um, worked the rodeo. This was a good week. It was a good first week. Okay, let's go to, oh, this is one of my favorite spreads ever. This is a kit from Crafty Banana, and I can't remember what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's like where you lead something. I don't know, but it's obviously Gilmore Girls themed, and this is just adorable. I love the gold touches. I love the, um, this is from Rose Color Days. She did like a collab with um, Brianna from Crafty Banana and they put in some really cute little um, quotes and stuff and like overlays. So adorable. Love it. But yeah, this kit is so, so fun. It definitely was like end of fall to me with the plaid and everything. So it just turned out so cute. And I love these date covers with the little heart numbers. It's just adorable. But yeah, this is um, yeah definitely a week where I felt like I was being very creative. I used all the deco like within the spread, and it's just kind of fun. Every once in a while, I just like to do a themed spread and just like kind of go crazy with it. Okay, this spread is from, or this kit is from GP Sticker Studio, and I really love this so much. I remember buying it like months and months ago, and this just turned out so beautiful. I love the plaid in this. Um, there's a lot of plaid in my planner this year, but I love it. It's just so pretty with like the scarves and the flowers and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. This was a good week too, if I remember. Yeah, it was homecoming week and I had to work the homecoming dance. Yeah, good week. Okay, this is a kit from Firefly Paper Shop, and this is obviously a photo kit, and I've learned that photo kits are not my, really my favorite. It's not really my jam anymore. I don't know what my deal is, but like, I made this one work, and I really like it, actually. Um, I love the outdoor theme. 
and the colors I chose not to go like any foil or anything this week and just went with the um, the yellow and the orange and the blue and the green and I think it turned out really really well and I like this a lot um, we had some rain this is a Senate debate my best friend's birthday first day of fall it was a good week pizza always always a good thing this is kind of when I fell into my groove of like scheduling in all of my school stuff too I need to see it like on specific days to like stay on track otherwise I get really overwhelmed okay this is a kit from Scribble Prince Co and it's called Andrea and it's so pretty I really like this one a lot and this is when I tried out some little um gold foiled kind of flourishes and stuff really pretty I used a lot of foil I think it turned out really well and I loved this kit and the whole vibe of it I love this girl the white kitchen it's not too much pink. I also incorporated a little bit of Simply Gilded Washi this week. I think it turned out really pretty. I like it. Um, yeah, this was the happy hour that we came up with game nights. This was a fun day at school. We had um, the girls played a powder puff game, which I'm not, as a feminist, I don't feel like super supportive of it, but the girls like kicked ass and had a blast, so can't really be mad at that. But yeah, this was a good week. It was the end of the first six weeks, so one down five to go all right then into october this spread's so fun this is from scribble prince co and it's obviously like hocus pocus theme but like cool girl like i don't know modern if you can say that <laughs> but it's just really fun and i loved this kit it had so much to work with and i really like the foil and the simply gilded i would gotten in a bunch of that washi in so i tried to incorporate it and then just lots of stuff from like samplers, like this is from Crafty Banana, this one too. I just got kind of fun with it. And I do, when I do my monthlies, um, go back and do like some memory planning. So I'll do like what I know is going to happen before the month starts and then go back and like finish it off and kind of fill in with some washi and deco and stuff. And yeah, this is cute. So I did finish up my two classes, started another one. Watch Man in the High Castle. That's great. Um, Chrissy and Designs was in Michael's. That's fun. Worked concession stand. Oh, this was our first game night. Um, we went to the escape room. That was super fun. Watch Practical Magic. National Cat Day. It was a good month. This is a mashup between Wild Summer Designs and Avalon and Ninth. I just kind of threw two photo kits together. And I really like how this turned out. I really like the photos that I picked because I kind of just like picked and choose from both of the kits and I think they mesh really well together and I love the touches of orange. Orange is not my favorite color but like this time of the year I'm totally drawn to it. I think it's just like the leaves and it's just like in the trees. I love it. So yeah this is really super cute. This was like the first cold day of the year. I binged Man in the High Castle. I really like that show. Is this the first? No, this is getting close to classes being done. Oh, I love this one so much. It's so cute. So this is from Scribble Prince Co. It's called Wild One. This turned out so adorable. This is definitely one of my all-time faves, along with that Crafty Banana one. It's just so cute. I love the overlays. It kind of just gave it a little bit of something extra. And this just turned out so adorable. So basic, basically why I chose this kit was because my nephew and my sister's mom were coming to visit. And it just like seemed kind of fun to use this because I love this children's book. And my nephew was coming, so why not? So I was finishing up school this week those two classes and I think I finished up kind of early-ish yeah and so we had the whole weekend to hang out it was super cold though I remember that and we didn't get to go to everything or do everything that we wanted to do we just kind of hibernated but this turned out adorable I love it so so much in fact I would probably do this kit again just for the hell of it because it's just so cute I love it. 
Okay, this is from Sticky Essentials, and this was one of her mystery kits that I just, like, happened to come across, and I, yeah, I grabbed it, and it's really cute. So I did have the day off to, um, like, finish up time with my family, and so I love that Fox and Pip Pearl. She's definitely one of my faves. And then I did work at the concession stand. We were out super late, but that was actually really fun. Really fun. And then my new class was starting like the week after this, so we did get all organized for that. We did have our first game night. We did not do so well. We didn't have any straight out arguments, but um, we did uh, have some frustration in the escape room, if you've ever done one, but it was really, really fun. Okay, this is another favorite. This is, I don't remember what it's called, but it's from Scribble Prince Go, and it's this turned out so beautiful. I just like it for this time of the year. Like October always feels a little bit like witchy to me in a good way. And I love this girl's purple hair. So, and I used some Virgo and paper cups this week. Super cute. I love the tone of purple in this. It's just such an interesting color. And this was a good week if I remember right. I watched Practical Magic, which is my babe. Um... Oh, I watched Sabrina. That was really, really good. I liked it a lot. And someone told me that they're doing like a Christmas special, which I'm totally into that. That sounds fun. I was supposed to go to that flea market and I never went and I forgot to put a uh, nope stick over that, but that's fine. Um, I think this was a good week. Yeah, I did like a, an observation for my grad class. Yeah, good week. And then November is my last month of my fall peek inside my planner. This is a kit from Shop Jessica Hearts and I fell in love with this kit because of the artwork and the quote and everything. And then I think I was like super harsh when I um, actually did this spread, like filmed it and said that it didn't have everything I needed. And that's totally a lie because I love it. And it turned out really cute. I just have a couple things to add on this week but it's pretty much finished and I love it and so much so that I bought a shop Jessica Hearts kit for December and I'm gonna use that because it just looks so cute. So let's see this was the 100 years since the World War One armistice so as a history teacher I feel like I had to mark that. We did have a snow day um, that was kind of fun and kind of needed. Um, we had our Friendsgiving which we we had game night that night. What else? Thanksgiving, of course. We went and saw Instant Family, which if you are just like dying for a cheesy movie that's going to make you fi cry for the last 10 minutes of the movie, go see that because it's really cute. I did um, book my flights for my summer trip with my sister. We're going to New York and DC. Another reason why I kind of was drawn to this kit because I it looks like New York in the fall to me. And so I bought some new luggage because I got really excited. And then let's see, my dad's birthday, putting up the Christmas tree. I'm actually doing that tonight. And yeah, I think that's everything for that monthly spread. And then this is another crafty banana kit. This is adorable. It is Hocus Pocus themed. And I just wanted to do something fun for Halloween week because I'm not super into Halloween. I like the whole like interesting vibe of it but I don't love the holiday I don't ever like dress up and go to parties anymore so I don't know I just want to do something fun and this is definitely fun um, I started using my little pumpkin paper co girls and these are from paper and milk they're super cute let's see what else happened to this oh this was a super boring um super boring weekend. I remember that because I had a headache and I like totally canceled plans and then <laughs> I watched Vanderpump Rules for like six hours. So yeah, we did have a really good potluck. That was, that was good. I remember this week being very tough, like at work, struggling at work, which is definitely a mid-semester tradition for me. Okay, let's move on to a much more fun and um, much better week. 
And this was a Scribble Pens Co. kit. It's called What Would Olivia Pope Do? And this is so cute. I love it. So I decided to use this one for election week. And this was kind of a tough week as well at work. Like I said, just going through it, you know? Just like doubting myself and struggling. And I did not end up doing everything that I would actually put on here. Besides this, for sure. Um, I bought Crazy Rich Asians, which I freaking love that movie so much. I've watched it like five times since then. I'm not even exaggerating. But this week, great thing is that I got um, tickets to go see my favorite murder in person in Dallas in the spring with my sister. And we're going to have the best time. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. The spring has like so many things to look forward to. And that's the first thing that my sister said when we got our tickets. Like, we have so much to look forward to. So, like, winter is never great for me emotionally because I get that stupid seasonal affective disorder thing. But I just have to look ahead, stay focused, keep moving forward, get as much sunlight as possible. That's part of the problem. But anyway, off of my tangent there. Um, yeah, I really like this a lot. This is super cute. I love the theme. A themed spread is always fun. And this week actually turned out pretty well. Like by the end, got my register for my spring classes and I'm going to be applying for graduation soon, which is so exciting. Um, the election didn't go exactly how I wanted everything to go, but there were so many like awesome things that happened. So many great um, victories, especially for women and um, people of color. So I'm very excited about the future and January and them getting to work. So, yeah, I definitely love that I use this for this week. So fun. Okay, this was my friend's giving spread, and this is a kit from Caress Press. Her paper is so nice. I love it. And I used a couple overlays and some different things. So, I really like the pumpkin header overlays from CD Stickers. I think those give it a little something extra. And then this from um, the Sticky Committee. I thought that was perfect for that little um, full box. So cute. But yeah, this was Friendsgiving week. I was looking at recipes. We did have our snow day this week. So I basically like took up a bunch of stuff up here and added in. But yeah, that was a good thing actually because I needed a break to like get myself together before um, Thanksgiving break actually happened the next week. But yeah, this was really fun. Game night was super fun. We had a blast. Um, we laughed so hard. My friend Kat's husband is hilarious. Like he could be a stand-up comedian and he was like, he had us in stitches. But yeah, this was a great week. Very busy, but that's okay. Um, it was good. I liked it a lot. These pumpkin paper co girls are all over my fall spreads and I love them so, so much. They're so cute. And then this is the last spread of November. And this was my Thanksgiving week. And this is a kit from Scribble Prince Co. And I don't love it, but I do like it. I really like the colors and how bold they are. But I don't know. I think I used too much yellow or gold or whatever. But I do like it. I like it. Um, it's not my favorite. But again, it was my last um, chance to use my little pumpkin paper co girls. Threw in some Fox and Piv too. Um, this was a great Thanksgiving break. Super chill and relaxing. And it was a good time with family. And I, this is tonight. I'm decorating tonight. So, and then over here, I just got my meal planner over here. Um, and I actually meal planned for the first time in like, I don't even know how long. So we're getting back on track with that. Although this meal planner is not really going to work with for me. I have a wellness log coming that's going to work better, but I'm just proud of myself that I like actually got in here and made a plan. So yeah, going into the holidays, probably not the best time, you know, better late than never or better early than never, Who, whatever. Anyway, so I think that is everything it is. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this peek inside my planner and got uh, some insight into my past spreads and how I feel about them. I know I don't talk about them after I do them. So this is kind of your chance to kind of peek in and see 
how they turned out and um, just see me reflect on them a little bit. I'm excited. I feel very comfortable in my style right now and I'm very excited to um, go into December and the kits I'm using then. And then in January, I'm just going to start taking some risks and kind of following my creative juices, you know? So we're just going to see what happens. I'm excited for the challenge. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!